Hello and welcome to this video on how you can write an extremely technical and high quality article using ChatGPT and AI writing tools. So one of the biggest limitations of these softwares and of this technology is it's only as good as the information that's being fed, as well as the person that is prompting the tool and leading the, the direction of the article. So trust me, I know I've made over $100,000 writing articles for some insanely big technical companies about topics that I have no idea about, um, such as software, APIs, all this random stuff. But I'm going to show you what I've learned and how you can write super high quality and technical articles. And then at the very end, I'm going to go through how you can pass all AI detectors, which are now everywhere and Google is trying to lock or crack down on that. But they won't be able to as there's so many ways you can make it sound extremely human like and I'm going to show you exactly how you can beat these detectors at the end of this video. So let's dive into it. So if you saw my previous video, I discussed how I made $124,000 using AI writing over the last year or so. So I have written hundreds and hundreds of really technical articles, but there are some key limitations that I'm going to show you right now. So if you want to write an article about the best new features of the iPhone 14, Chat GPT is only as good as the information that it's already read. There, so it hasn't been trained on upcoming and latest and new pieces of article or content. So as you can see here, I want to write an article on the best features of iPhone 14. The iPhone 14 has not officially been announced or released by Apple, so its features are not confirmed. This is incorrect. It has been released. It's completely out there. I have it right here. Um, so how do we get past this? How do we write really technical articles on recent topics that are plagiarism free and can pass AI detections. That's what I'm gonna show you today. It's gonna be a bit of a longer video, but it'll be an in-depth guide on how this works, how the software works, and how you can get paid hundreds of dollars to still write articles using this kind of technology. So let's get into it. I like to use jasper.ai. Um, it's so much easier to use in my opinion than ChatGPT, and it also gets flagged a lot less for AI written content, and there's tons of tricks you can use in here to rephrase it, to change it so that the AI detectors think it is natural and organic. So we're gonna start by clicking on uh, documents, and we're gonna build a workflow, and we're gonna build a blog post. So start from workflow, and we are going to start just filling in the prompts on the left-hand side here. So another trick is I like to use this prompt that says, uh, you start by saying, act as an expert re uh, researcher on the certain topic and then write an article about it. So this also tends to improve um, the human-like quality of it. So the prompts that you give are what will dictate what the software is going to give you. So act as an expert researcher on the iPhone 14 and write an article on the iPhone 14's best features. Next. So the uh, blog post title, the best features of the iPhone 14, sure. Okay, so this is for the intro paragraph. So you're gonna start by writing the blog post title and then it's gonna give you an output. So it's set to, uh, iPhone 14 is set to be released in the fall of 2020. That's incorrect. So what I am going to do is actually go to an article that has updated information on it. So again, it's only as good as the information that's being fed. So if it doesn't have data, it doesn't have it. But we can go to an article, let's see this one here, that has the information that I want it to learn from. So we're gonna prime it essentially. We are gonna add in the iPhone 14. I like that, add that in here. We're gonna add a little bit more information. Let's see how much, you can only add so many words, but let's see if that works. Okay, there we go. So we have some information. Don't worry, we're gonna delete it. We're not gonna plagiarize. This is just priming it for our actual article here. So blog post outline, blog post topic. So we're gonna generate an outline. We wanna make sure this information is accurate as well. So the phone comes with the latest version of iOS. Okay, that's good, but we are gonna add in a couple of our own so the battery life one, don't care too much for that. Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about this. So the iPhone 14 has emergency SOS via satellite radio. Paste it in, 
called face ID. So that's not relevant either. We're gonna get rid of that. And again, there will be a little more editing when you're doing technical articles, but it's fine. It still saves ridiculous amounts of time writing these articles. Um, SOS satellite demo. And the other feature that I really like is the island. So we're gonna find information on it here. So, so dynamic island. Let's see. Go back. The iPhone 14's dynamic island. Next. Paragraph generator. So what's your first paragraph about? So the first paragraph is about the iPhone 14, newer and sleeker look, which is pulling from this information. Great, we're gonna generate. You're going to choose that second one. So camera's even upgraded four different lenses. Good. Let's generate. Okay. Good. Next one. Generate. Again, in reality, I will take more time to go through and double check this, but let's see. So the emergency satellite demo. So this paragraph, I'm assuming, is going to be a little off. Um, and the reason is there's no context about this anywhere else generate. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, so in a crisis, you can access emergency services. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Don't have Wi-Fi connection. On top of that, it connects you to emergency contacts and sends you current. Perfect, it's actually good. Per very good, very good. Dynamic Island, let's see what it says about the Dynamic Island. I know this is another feature that it may not be too accurate on. So I have newest release, some exciting features. One of the most impressive is upgrade Dynamic Island feature. Similar to an island on the center of a lake. Uh, this peripheral information is just to organize. Okay, we're gonna use it for now. Generate. Next. Conclusion. Generate. Finish. All right. And here you have a full article, 919 words on the iPhone 14. But again, we are gonna have to delete this and create a new intro paragraph. So we're gonna to go to the bottom and say, I want to write an intro paragraph on the above article. Run command, we're gonna do long. Okay, so here you go. We're going to take this, copy and paste it at the top, and we now have a full article, almost a thousand words, on the new iPhone 14. Again, I didn't like the Dynamic Island one as much, so something that you can do is go find information on the dyna Dynamic Island. So, okay, this. Okay, as we now know. We're gonna add this in. I'm gonna get more information on it. And that should be good. So, and then we're just gonna say, I want to write a summary about the iPhone 14's dynamic island features. And command J is, so there we go. So the iPhone 14's dynamic revolution feature displays pixels into one pill shaped area. The area changes, okay, so great. There we go, we have our new more accurate dynamic island paragraph. And voila, we have our article. Next, you wanna to go to Grammarly. Always go to Grammarly when using AI um, writing tools. This is another AI writing tool, but it will check all the spelling for you. So let's paste it in. And also check plagiarism, because when you're going off content above that is real, 
sometimes there's more plagiarism. Again, you'll just go through, make all the changes here. Um, takes a couple seconds. But yeah, go through and make sure you make all the edits it will show you here. Let's do a plagiarism check. And it is 100% original. Great. We're going to take this. And now for the AI checker. So we're almost there, assuming that I went through and did all these changes, but I'm not going to right now. And we are going to look in originality.ai. This is the top plagiarism checker. Um, the way it works is it understands how AI writes because it is the same software. Um, AI has a list of words and it predicts the next word. So it knows the words that it would predict in the sentence, if that makes sense. So we're going to add in this article and scan it. Scan again. Okay, not terrible. 44% uh, chance that this is AI, 56% that it is original. There's also this free one we're going to go into. And this has it as 99.98% real, 0.02% fake. So that is amazing. Now, the way that you get past this, so for, for here, for instance, you can take this and you can spin it on, on Jasper. So you can go to a different one and you can do a rephrase. So what we're gonna to wanna to do now is we're gonna to to find out which part of this is being deemed as AI written. So it's usually you wanna go in and go paragraph by paragraph, but this can get kind of expensive is the issue. Um, we can go scan again. So this, it has a 99% AI generated. So I'm assuming most of the issue then is going to be in these top two paragraphs. So if we can go and we can change just the top two paragraphs around and rephrase it, that should show up as uh, 0%. So even this is showing us a little bit more, but not much. Um, but yeah, that's what I would do. I would start here and we will rephrase some of it and see what happens. For the ultimate, for the ultimate mobile technology, looking for the iPhone 14. This has it all from the stage design, which cater both to casual users. And, okay. So yeah, go through, change around, uh, just rephrase, change around some words. You can even add in a simple space, like an extra space in certain places. And that will also bypass the plagiarism detector. So lots of simple things you can do. Um, rephrase, change words, add a space, and you are good to go. I also want to note the majority of the time, they're just going to use this G, uh, GPT-2 output detector because it's free and it costs a lot of money for them to check articles. So Google, for instance, I imagine will have a free software and it's going to be almost impossible for them to check every single one. Um, so that's something that they're going to be fighting over the next little while is with the amount of content, how can they possibly check it all? It's going to be very, very challenging. So I'm curious to see how that goes. But again, there's so many ways to get past it from... Yeah, adding an extra space to um, changing words to whatever it is. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps. And again, if you want to make a ton of money on this, check out my other video where I show you how I made $124,000. There's so many writing platforms that you can go to and they just have an endless database of jobs. I currently have uh, some jobs. Let's see what we have available right now. So yeah, on this one platform alone I, alone, I could currently go in and I could start this job for $107, use the exact strategy I just showed you. Showed you. It'll probably take me 30 minutes or so um, writing about oral health and health and osteoporosis, which I know nothing about, but the AI software does. So again, I could make a quick 107 US, that's $220 right there if I wanted. But uh, yeah, that's all for this video. There's tons of different softwares you can apply for to get these kind of jobs on. Make sure you're using the AI checker, Grammarly, and submitting the jobs that way. So that's all, and I'll see you in the next video.